This is Caesar with Nursing School Made Easy. Again, these lectures are designed for nursing students either preparing for your class exam or for the NCLEX exam. Today's topic will be heart failure, left and right-sided heart failure. What we have in front of us here is a CT or a CAT scan of the chest, abdomen, and pelvic regions. We will be focusing on the chest area here. This is the right side, left side. We have left ventricle here right ventricle, right atrium. So when blood comes in, it'll go through the right atrium. Right ventricle will go into the lungs, come to the left atrium, which will go to the right ventricle and then pump blood into the aortic arch. The aortic arch will then go to the uh, carotid arteries. The aorta will come down into the abdominal region, becoming the abdominal aorta. And will feed blood to the all the organs in the abdominal cavity. We have here's liver, stomach, uh, large and small bowel. Now that is a real brief um, overview of anatomy, um, but again, we'll keep it short. Now what we will be focusing on is the left ventricle. Now in left ventricular failure or left-sided heart failure, it is the left ventricle which is not pumping um, the blood the way it should. Now, if the left ventricle is unable to pump blood um, to the rest of the body, a couple of areas that will be affected are, one, the brain. Remember, again, that I told you that the aortic arch will later on bifurcate into the carotids, which will feed the brain. But again, if the left ventricle is unable to pump a sufficient amount of blood out of the aorta or the aortic arch or the left ventricle, Again, the brain is not getting the amount of blood that it needs. So patients that are suffering from this may also suffer from um, confusion, altered mental status. So one thing that you would want to do with those patients, again, is to continuously monitor their oxygen saturation, their O2 sat. Is it above 90? And if it is not, then you would uh, want to put them on oxygen. Because again, if they don't have enough oxygen going through them, you can uh, end up with um, cerebral or brain damages because again, the brain is not getting the oxygen that it needs. Now, if the rest of the organs are not getting the amount of blood that they need, then you could end up with something like uh, organ failure. Uh, do they have adequate urine output? So you don't, again, you'd want to monitor their intake and output. Are they producing enough urine? If not, then this could mean that maybe the kidneys are beginning to shut down because they are not getting the uh, amount of blood that they need. Now the other thing that you want to remember is that the left ventricle again pumps blood into the aorta which takes it to the rest of the body. But if that left ventricle is not pumping blood the way it should then it must accumulate somewhere and the place that it will accumulate is or will be in the lungs. Now this is very important because patients who have an accumulation of blood in the lungs or fluid in the lungs will also suffer from something called dyspnea or shortness of breath. Now the shortness of breath will increase if they remain in a supine position. So you, won't, you will want to make sure that they are in a semi upright position or an upright position. Again, remember this for your test. You definitely do not want to put them in a supine position because if you put them in a supine position, that blood or uh, fluid will disperse throughout the lungs, making it more difficult for that patient to breathe. So again, you would want to make sure that they do not remain in a supine position, but in fact, you put them in somewhat of a semi-upright position, again, so that they can have an easier time of breathing. And again, with those people you would want, or with those patients, you would want to check their O2 sats. And if they are below 90, again, you would want to put them on some type of um, oxygen therapy. Um, now that is the left side heart failure. Now let's focus on the right side. Now we talked about how fluid will accumulate here in the lungs. Well on the right side what will end up happening is uh, fluid will actually accumulate in the abdomen, something called ascites. So they will have abdominal girth. So you would want to make sure that you palpate that abdomen you listen to those abdomen sounds and you will also want to monitor their weight. The, again, the fluid will accumulate in the abdomen causing ascites, but it will also accumulate in the lower and upper extremities, something called peripheral edema. 
So make sure you do a full assessment. Make sure you look at their ankles. Are they swollen? Is their face puffy? Have they gained weight? Again, you will want to make sure that you do daily weights because you want to keep track and see if they are gaining weight on a day-to-day -day basis. The other thing that you may want to do or will do is monitor their intake of fluids. So they will most likely be on fluid restrictions because again, you do not want to continuously overload them because if you continuously give them um, fluids, it will either accumulate in their abdomen, ascites, in their lower upper extremities, peripheral edema, or in their lungs, okay? The other thing that you will not want to do is give them a high sodium diet because again, wherever uh, sodium goes, water follows, so you'll have increased weight gain, which will again increase blood pressure. The other thing you, that you will want to watch out for or monitor is jugular vein distension. This will result because of that fluid accumulation. Again, so right-sided heart failure, things that you will want to monitor or check for again, abdominal girth increase, ascites, fluid accumulation in the upper lower extremities, peripheral edema, and jugular vein distension. Things that you'll want to focus on with the left side are fluid in the lungs. So again, you would want to listen or auscultate their lungs. Are their lungs diminished? Their lung sounds diminished, excuse me. Are there crackles present? The other thing that you will want to assess them for is their mental status. Are they disoriented? The other thing you will again assess for is their output. Are their kidneys functioning like they should? So again, here we have right and left sided heart failure. Please guys remember to make sure that their O2 sats are above 90. If not, provide the adequate amount of uh, oxygen therapy for your patients. Again, if you have any questions or comments, please write them below. Good luck on your next exam.